Take these off because I feel like I'm shouting at you. Um, what is this? Today is Sunday, and I just thought I'd come in and let you know that I am starting my catching. Oh my god, what's going on? My catching fire vlog. Don't know when this is gonna go up, but thoughts will be incoming. Just you won't care. Why my face so red? I don't understand what's going on with the face, but you'll just have to deal with it. It's just, it's, it's, it is what it is. I am nervous for this book because I know for a fact that Mockingjay book three is going to kill me. So let's just get through this book and hopefully I won't cry too much. The thoughts, um, again, I don't know if I just said this, I can't even remember what I'm saying now. Um, there will be spoilers in this vlog. Most people have already watched slash read slash consumed in some kind of manner this trilogy. So the likelihood that people don't already know what's happening is very minimal. But for those of you who haven't ever read or watched it, there will be spoilers in this vlog. So the way that we left it at the end of book one, it wrapped up very nicely. I have absolutely no idea how book two is going to go, where we're going to start. I have seen around recently, um, I don't know if it's because I've been po I was probably posted about longer games, that you know, the algorithm on the Twitter, etc. Um, the internet knows what you're doing. So I've seen certain things pop up about how there is like a, potentially a love triangle you all know how i am not a massive fan of love triangles so we'll just have to see how well it's written see how it goes at the moment i am unsure about how i want it to go but i'm thinking i would prefer gail just because i'm a sucker for childhood friend turned lover situation you know, I'm 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 very that. I'm very up for that. That is a trope I like. So I am going for that. Whether or not I change my mind throughout this book, you will see. We will find out together my thoughts and feelings and ponderances on that. I will be giving Tora and the girls updates on my Hunger Game thoughts. They will hear my thoughts and see my thoughts before you guys do. And we'll just see where we go from there, shall we? I'm going to head off and do some household chores and listen to Catching Fire. Welcome. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Hi guys, we're on chapter five and already I was tearing up. <laughs> We've got to the part where Peter and Katniss are in District 11 and they have done their little speech thing and initially she was going to let Peter do all the talking because she had no idea what to say and yeah she looked at Rue's sibling and then decided to do an impromptu speech and <laughs> I just I just I just can't the way that she was like it's the voice crack when she was talking about them and initially she was quite still emotional but it was thank you for Thresh for saving my life you know he only spoke to him when he said he was gonna like spare me my life and then she was like I know I knew I feel like I knew Rue and I was like bitch she's she's gonna make me cry I didn't sob but there was there was tear streaming down the face there was like a little bit of a, 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 a tear and a lump in the throat situation. Um, yeah, so five chapters in and yeah. <laughs> Fun times. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you literally two minutes later? Two minutes, oh my god. The, 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 the salute thing, the, 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 do, 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 do. The, the, the little bird call thing and then the guy getting shot in the head 
I am not okay, guys. I am not okay. I'm not okay. Hello. Now we're on chapter 10. Um, I have thoughts. I, 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 don't, I still don't know where this is going. I, I, I still don't know where, where we're supposed to go with this. But we're at the point where Gail was whipped. I'm glad I wasn't eating at that point. I mean, I say this, okay, but I can sit there and eat when they talk about someone's stomach being sliced or when their intestines pouring out. But then with situations where it mentions that his back was just covered in slashes and it was like there was like it doesn't go into detail about the the state of his back, but just the thought of that makes me feel a bit sick so I don't know what it is I don't know if it's because I kind of like Gail as a character but even then and like like <laughs> I don't know I don't know if it's because I like Gail as a character at the moment and previously when people were like you know slashed from torso to crotch or whatever and like his blood's spilling out whatever um it's in like a war setting where I don't really know some of the characters that this is happening to and I'm not really attached to anyone. I, I don't fully I don't fully know. But it gave me a bit like a eh, kind of feeling. And Katniss realising in the most inappropriate moments that she has feelings for Gail. And she chooses Gail. And Peter know that she chooses Gail. And I know that I wasn't really a fan of the Peter and Katniss pairing but I really just I don't know I don't know I'm not really sure what's going on I don't really like the way that Gail reacts to Peter and then again Peter acts really jealously about Gail but Peter is also being quite considerate as well it is Gail that acts a bit like a child at times I don't I don't fully know what the situation is but she needs to get her shit together I know she's going through stuff, it's fine, I get it, but I really like Madge because Madge seems to be this friend that she's got now that's just there at the right moment to just be like, I got you. And with the medicine for Gail, top friend, top friend. Hey Mitch, I've been told that my opinion on him may change at the moment. He's still a drunken braggart, but he has hired Gail's mum. So that's an upshot because the whole mine situation is closed and then um, then it was reopened and the wages were docked for more hours and, you know. Clearly this is the capital sending them a message like, don't rebel, don't fuck with us because we can fuck with you more. And I'm not about that. Fuck the government. You know, not literally, but you know, let's overthrow the bat the man. Let's rebel. But we all, yeah, I don't know. We're only in the middle of, we're not even in the middle of the middle book. So this clearly isn't going to resolve like right now. But I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I'm glad that they've decided not to run away though, for now. Because. I feel like that would have been a bad idea. I feel like anyone left behind would have just been and then she would have just been very guilty and, you know, broody and like, oh, we shouldn't have done this, even though she's been told plenty of times that she shouldn't be doing it. Anyway, that's by the by. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what my thoughts are. I'm very confused right now. But um we are maybe like what we what are we? What are we? Um we're now only three hours and 34 minutes from the end. So, can I finish this tonight? It's currently nine o'clock. Maybe not finish it tonight, but I, I could finish it tomorrow. I'll be reading Princess Sorrows, but I will read that after this and then find another audiobook to read through the week. But this, this is, yeah, um, and you've been wonky for this whole clip, don't at me. Hello, friends. I am currently on chapter 20 of catching fire <sighs> thoughts 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 they've just gone back in for round two of like the hunger games what's it called the quell with all the past winners and right okay i'm gonna say this and i 
obviously I know the whole premise of this is like culling of children and stuff and no I don't agree with that it's just not a thing that I approve of but the, uh, the whole Peter um saying that Katniss was pregnant she just kind of shocked me not gonna lie I, I did sort of like get a bit angry um at the whole fake pregnancy situation I, I don't know why I had such a reaction at the time it hasn't dulled my en enjoyment of the rest of the book it hasn't reduced my star rating I just it gave me not such great vibes for like well I got yeah it just I didn't like it I can't imagine anyone really likes the whole <laughs> fake pregnancy thing it's I just I don't know what it was about it I just think it wasn't I know I know why he did it before anyone says that I know why he did it he wanted to save Katniss he, he, he was trying to help her because he loves her but it, st it still didn't st it didn't sit right with me and like I said I know I know that she she would have they would have killed her for the whole feather situation um, and I knew I knew as soon as that happened I knew Sinner was either going to get badly beaten or killed and as she was going into the arena Sinner got beaten and taken away so I can't imagine Sin is going to be alive when she next comes back because obviously she does come back doesn't she because it's a uh, there's a book three or is the arena or is because I've only got an hour and a half left an hour and 20 minutes so does this stop part way through this round of like of the quell and does it continue in book three am I going to want to read book three straight away was it a bad idea to read it at the beginning of Feb? Probably. Oops. I can't fit it on my February TBR either. It's just, it's just not gonna, not go happen, not go happen, friends. But I feel that I could finish this tonight. So I will try my best to finish it tonight. And if I can, I fucking will. I don't know where that's from. Is that from Peaky Blinders? If we fucking can, we will. I don't know what the exact phrase is, but I've heard the sound go around on TikTok and I was like, yes. Peter's growing on me. He really is. We're not spending that much time with Gail, but I don't know why. It's just my romantic heart that loves the whole childhood friends to love his trope. Is is rooting for that, but then my other brain, my other brain. I've only got one brain, and it barely works. My the other side of me is thinking that like Peter has just supported her, and is not been like pressurizing her in any way to be with him. Even though we all know that he's just head over heels in love with her. And I think the way that he's dealt with this whole situation, apart from the pregnancy thing, um, it's 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 been a, it's been a gent, hasn't he? Really, you can't really dispute that. So yeah, one side that like really hangs on the friends to love show up is just like, no, let's let's go, Gail. And then the other side that he's just a sucker for a really nice guy is wanting Peter. Why were throuples not a thing back in the, the times that this was written? Why? <laughs> um, this the, the part where um, Peter is like knocked unconscious and Phoenix down and blocks his nose off and then Katniss thinks he's trying to hurt him and make sure he's dead and then he leans down and tries to do CPR and then Katniss thinks that he's trying to kiss him. <laughs> It's not a funny situation because obviously Peter's in in the position Peter's in, but Katniss. I thought I was gonna get to the end of this and be fine. I was wrong. The fog. The fog. Mags. 
just a fucking legend. R.I.P. Max. I'm sorry, what? What? The Morphling from District 6 just pounces out and saves Peter's ass. I mean, poor Peter. Setting off the monkeys. He's not having a great time, this kid, is he? I mean, he, he seems to be the one that a lot that like, gets them into <laughs> gets them into shit. Oh, is the one holding them up? Bless him. So the, he held them up, not purposefully. Obviously, poor kid. He couldn't run as fast because of what happened to him with the barrier. Um. Therefore, Finnick had to carry him, and then wasn't able to help Mags, and then Mags sacrificed herself, and now. Like, Peter set off the fucking monkeys, and the monkeys were gonna go for him, and like, and then the District 6 modeling just like jumped in and then got hurt. What? I'm not okay. The modeling dying, and then Peter talking to her. I said she drew the flower and said it was beautiful. She said it was beautiful. <sighs> this is not good. This is... Bitch. This is supposed to be the game of no crying. <laughs> the rollercoaster emotions that I have to speed through. I just... Let me just compose myself for a second. I mean, when when <sighs> Peter set the monkeys off and the bitter chest, I was like, okay, that's sad. But then when he was like, the state of the wind she was dying, I was like, that's what they do because they're nice people. <sighs> but then he started talking to her about the painting and then the rainbow and then she wished me. It was, her, it was her reaching out to him that got me. And then he was like, that's beautiful. But it was just on the... But it was just wonderful. Take back everything I said. I love Peter. Joanna has just attacked her. Joanna has just attacked Katniss. And told her to stay down. And like, just stabbed her. Just fucking went and just pounced on her. Just pounced on her. Well, I'm like 15 minutes from the end. Why? Why would you do this? Why Why would you? I need book three straight away, don't I? Oh, I don't have time for this on my TBR. You're currently wonky again. But it is what it is. I've now finished Mocking Jay. No, I've not. I'm lying. I've now finished Catching Fire. And I'm not okay. Um, I'm not okay. I'm not. I. The roller coaster of emotions. I don't. I don't. I. D <sighs> Peter's been taken by the Capitol. The whole plan, like Joanna actually wasn't attacking her. She just pinned her down to take the tracker out so that the other, the, the guys that weren't in their alliance could chase her instead because they thought that she'd killed Katniss. So they were like her and Fennec and Be Beanie? Beanie? Be What's his name now? I've, I've forgotten his name. I've audibly read this, so I I can't remember. It had been it. Um, we're all like willing to risk their lives for her because she is the Mockingjay. There is no District Twelve. For why? For why? For, for why? That is all. I have no words, no thoughts, no feelings. I am just shocked. I am shooketh to my chorus. And I had no idea that it would end that way. I did not know what to expect from book two. 
but it wasn't that. I knew it wasn't going to be all happy and yeah, because they're being hurled into another Hunger Games situation for the quell. But I just did not expect that. And now I've got to wait till March for book three. And if I cried thrice at book two, I have no idea. I I have no idea what's going to happen to me in book three. The fright has been instilled in me now. That final book fear. I think I should go to bed. I've read a full book this evening, as well as whatever I read of Prince of Sorrows earlier. And it's now half past twelve. And I have the gym in the morning, so I need to get some sleep, but my brain's on overload. I shouldn't have read that just before bed. If you didn't already know by my reactions, five stars. Thank you very much for watching me on my roller coaster of a journey. If you do like me and you want to see more from me, then please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> then like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you want to let me know you're here but you don't have anything to say, the black hat is very much appreciated. As always, there is a Google form down below where you can re recommend books to me. Um, peace on the friends. I'm, I'm going to ruminate. I don't know what to do. Bye.